What's up, Matt Arroyo here, and I want to go over a few tips on going against bigger, stronger opponents, okay? I'm actually filming a course in a week called How to Beat Bigger, Stronger Opponents, okay? So there's so many things I have in there that are going to help you do that, but I don't have enough time right now to make that whole thing. So I'm just going to give you three tips on how to be bigger, stronger guys. This is Jeff Nelson. He's about 260 pounds, six foot four. I'm about six feet tall, 185, 190, okay? He's bigger than me, he's stronger than me, okay? So if I were going against someone like him, here are the tips that I would give you. Tip number one, okay? Try your best, try your best, and I'll show you ways to do this in the course, but try your best to stay on top. If you get someone that has gravity going for them, and they're 260 pounds, and ridiculously strong, and they're on top of you, you are going to wear out trying to stop their pass most times. If they get that hand on your hip, pinning you down, you have to deal with that. And him dropping his body weight on you and you trying to push him away, you're gonna gas out really fast, okay? So number one, try to stay on top. And there's ways to do that with different takedowns, there's ways to do that with a couple different sweeps that work really well on bigger guys. And there's different ways to do that starting on the knees. And I go over all that in the course. Just for right now, conceptually, try your best to stay on top. Don't just pull guard from the bigger, stronger guy unless you're really, really good with those sweeps that I show. Okay, other than that, try your best to stay on top. Because then, you being the smaller guy, can now use speed versus their size. Usually, unless they're like an NFL, you know, whatever, prodigy running a 4-2, 40, usually you're gonna be quicker than the bigger, stronger guy. Okay, so you're gonna use your speed to get around their guard, rather than pulling strength. Because you're gonna be able to push your way at ease. Okay, so that's number one. Stay on top, use your speed to pass the guard. Number two, stand up, sir. You look at our builds, right? Look at his shoulders and his arms and his elbows. If he wants to keep his arm like this, especially with two hands, it's gonna be really hard for me to break this grip on an arm bar, being my size and my strength, okay? Like I said, I'm six feet, he's, he's just enormous compared to me. Muscle, he's all, he's all muscle, all right? So why would I try to go for an arm bar where I have to break, this again? Where I have to break this grip. It's just gonna be crazy. He's gonna eventually rip his elbow to the floor and he's strong enough to climb back on top of me and then I just wasted a ton of my energy. Okay, so I'm not gonna go for his arms. Kimura's good luck. You're not gonna break these grips. Legs, okay, we go over that in the course. I would say ankles are fine, heel hooks, things like that. But as far as, as what I'm looking for is the neck. Because relative to our size, right, our necks are pretty similar size. Okay, he has two arteries going to his brain, just like I do, just like anybody else does, that bring blood to the brain. And if you choke that, whether it be a guillotine, whether it be a rear choke, whether it be a, a north-south choke, and all the different ones I show in the course, he's gonna go out just like anybody else. He can't tough out or, or be strong and stop that choke. His neck's gonna go just like everybody else. So I highly recommend for bigger guys, chokes. Chokes such as guillotines, arm in, arm out, doesn't matter. Rear naked chokes, number one, obviously. North-south chokes. Would I recommend anaconda chokes with someone whose shoulders are that wide? No. Triangle chokes with somebody whose back is like this, my feet are not gonna connect enough to get a strong triangle choke. So no, I'm not gonna do that either. Regular chokes on the neck. You can hang your neck. When you're passing the guard, remember how I said, I'm not gonna go for like, you know, different tight passes where, I, where he can just push me away and be done. It's gonna be more speed passes, speed passes, and getting around to the side. Okay, so tip number one, try to get on top always, show you ways to do that. Tip number two, uh, also tip number one, use your speed to get to the side. Tip number two, go for chokes, forget about the arms. Wrists, I would go for wrists, because his wrists, again, aren't that much bigger than mine. You could bend it, they're not expecting it. Ankles, same kind of thing. Um, but neck is where it's at, okay? North-south chokes, guillotine chokes, rear naked chokes. Stay away from the triangles or anything that has to go with, do with his back, being, walking, you know, getting your arms around his back. And then tip number three, when you get side control, once you speed past his guard, I do not recommend, unless you want to get rolled, I do not recommend this side control with the underhook and head control on a big guy. He is strong enough, literally, to put his elbow in my belly and chuck me over anytime he wants. Okay, I don't care how good your base is. Me being tight to him and my, and my base being underneath him, if he really explodes and uses his strength, I'm going over, yeah, however he wants. So what I recommend when you get side control on a bigger, stronger guy is always what we call control one, which is elbow over the head, hand by the hip, and then again, I don't put my chest on his, I kind of just shave down here. And I try to put my belly closer to the floor, okay? So it's like control one, hand by the hip, hand over the, the head, but I also shave my way to north-south. This is gonna eliminate him rolling me out. If he got his arm underneath, he tries to roll me, go ahead. 
I have a really wide base, both ways. And this is gonna frustrate him, and it's also gonna open up my north-south choke. Okay, like I said, the bigger guys go for the chokes. If I start messing with his arm, he's gonna be like, like for example, if I get a Kimura locking him together, the chances of me finishing this Kimura against a guy with his grip strength, it's gonna be hard. Even if I go to an arm bar, I can do this all, all day. And he wants, he's just gonna hold it. He rips his elbow to the floor now and turns and gets on top of me, or rolls out the other way. He's got the horsepower to do it. Okay, so tip one, try to get on top. Use your speed. Now he doesn't have his strength and weight advantage when he's on bottom as much. Tip number two, when you speed around his guard, uh, go for chokes. Forget about the arms, forget about anything where he's wide, his back, anything like that, go for the neck. Tip number three, don't do a regular uh, old-fashioned side control of the underhook and head. You will get rolled. Strong guys love when you do that. They're just gonna roll you right over and now they're on top of it with all of their weight on you. Usually they're inside the control. Okay, so get the control one, get your belly on the floor, and get a nice wide base and start setting up your next move. All right, I hope this helps. And again, I'm gonna be launching my How to Be Bigger, Stronger Guys course in the next two weeks. It will be in August. So if you're ready for that, look out for that. I'll give you all the tips on how to do all those positions and all those things to get on top. And thanks to Jeff for helping me with the video.